Welcome to Treadmill Review Guru. Today we're going to take a look at the Soul E35 elliptical. This is a very sturdy front drive elliptical, has 20 levels of incline, 20 levels of resistance, and a nice pedal length uh, that will go back and forth 20 inches. It gives you a great full body workout with both upper body and lower body engagement, and is very affordable. So let's take a closer look at who is best suited for. Let's take a look at who the Soul E35 is best suited for. So this is a very sturdy, well-built elliptical, but it does not fold up. So we recommend it for people who have a dedicated space where you can set the treadmill and then just leave it there. It's also really good for people who are looking for both an upper body and lower body workout. It does have the synchronized motion between the foot pedals and the handles. So you get that full body engagement. So that's another thing that um, it's good for those who want a little bit more than maybe you would get on a bike or a treadmill. Um, it's also good for people who want something simple and easy to use. The uh, console does not have a touch screen and there's no subscription content. So this is great for people that just wanna jump on, click a quick program and just go, don't wanna pay for a subscription, don't care about a touch screen. It's also very, very quiet. So as you can see, when I move it here, it doesn't make any noise. So it's really good if you are in an apartment, shared space, something like that, and you need something quiet. We do not recommend this for people who have space constraints because it is large and it doesn't fold up. Um, so just be aware of the size. It's also relatively heavy and um, it doesn't have subscription. So if you really want workout videos or other things like that, this isn't gonna provide that. Also, when this pedal is set to the lowest height, it's about a 14 inch step up. Now you do have uh, stable handles here, but we recommend this for people who can get up on and down off the machine safely. It's a little bit higher than a treadmill. So for people with mobility issues or something like that, just make sure you can actually manage that 14 inch step up height. So let's take a look at the overall construction of the Soul E35 elliptical. So as I mentioned, it does have a rather large footprint. Um, as you can see, it takes up just a bit of space. It is 71 inches high up here to the top and 82 inches long. So it's rather high and rather long, but it's only 31 inches wide. So you could tuck it alongside a wall, maybe behind a couch or something like that, and it would fit back there. It's very stable and it's built of all steel construction. So you can see your uprights here are powder coated steel, um, your pedal supports down here that hold your pedals are all steel and they're powder coated as well. You also have three stabilizers, one at the front, one here in the middle and one at the back. Um, so it's very sturdy. Even these stationary handlebars right here are steel at the bottom and then they have a comfortable overlay over the top. Um, one thing I really like about this treadmill is it has a dual track system to support the pedals. So you'll notice as the pedal comes down and moves along, it moves along both of these tracks right here, which just provides added stability so that that pedal doesn't accidentally shift side to side. So you have those dual pedal construction back here at the bottom just to allow it to slide very stable. Um, you also have a handle back here and this again is steel and there are two wheels at the front of the machine. So when you need to, you can tip and move it. The machine weighs about 231 pounds. So it's relatively heavy, um, but you can move it gently if you need to, just kind of occasionally from time to time. You can also see that your power cord plugs in right here on the left side of the flywheel. And you do have a um, power button right down there, which is nice because it's a little easier to reach. Um, sometimes they're all the way on the bottom or tucked up underneath. So I like that that one's just a little easier to reach. Uh, another thing about the construction, it has a very quiet whisper drive system. So you can tell when I move those pedals, there's literally no noise. It's very quiet. You also have a 25 pound flywheel in here and the flywheel is at the front. So this is a front drive system, which means most of the weight 
is, is located at the front and you don't have to walk around a big rear drive back here at the bottom, which is another thing that's nice. It does have 20 levels of incline and we'll demo that for you in a minute, but the whole machine will incline up to give you a little more um, hill work so that you can work on an incline if you want. And again, that's very quiet as well. It also has the 20 inch stride length. So let me just get up here real quick. So the stride length is how forward and back those pedals move. So you have a full 20 inches of stride length, which means that this will work well for um, users that are my height or even taller people. You will have plenty of forward and back motion um, on those pedals. The other thing that you'll notice is the pedals do have a protective ridge here at the top and they're very wide and very large so that they'll support pretty much any size foot and your foot isn't going to shift forward when you're on when you're on the machine um, and we'll demo for you in a minute you also have three levels of incline here at the back so you can adjust that pedal up or down if you need to so in general really well constructed um, and solid on the Soul E35 we're always impressed with Soul's warranty they cover the um, E35 with a full lifetime warranty on the frame, and then you get five years coverage on electronics and parts, and two years on labor. So let's take a look at the console layout. One thing I do like about this machine is the console is very simple, which makes it easy for me. I like where it's just clean and uncluttered and you can just get on and go. So as I mentioned, there's a few things to be aware of. Your incline manual buttons are over here on the left and your resistance buttons are on the right. It just says level, but it means resistance. So right is resistance, left is incline. You also have those right here on the handles. So you can see I can easily go up down one level, um, incline is again on the left and resistance is on the right. Um, the other thing that I really like about this machine is it has the stationary handles. Not all ellipticals do and that makes it more challenging to get on and off if you have to hold on to a moving handle. So these stationary handles are actually really nice. They also have the heart rate sensors in them. So if you just hold right here, your heart rate will be displayed on screen. Um, so just a few things that I really like as far as how it's set up. Also, it comes with this adjustable tablet holder up here. The tablet is not included. This is my tablet. I just brought it for display purposes. But you can see this has an adjustable clip at the top and a nice wide ledge right there. So I can stick my tablet in and it's gonna hold it securely. That's really nice because you don't have a touch screen. So I can watch whatever app I have personally paid for. You know, you could watch Netflix or whatever um, up here and it's not gonna block your screen. You also have a ledge down here. You can see I've got my phone there. If you want, you can put your tablet down here but it will block the screen. So that's just something to be aware of. But you can set your phone right here to the side and still have your tablet up there at the top. There also is a little pocket down here. I could drop my phone in there if I wanted to, um, or as you can see, it will hold a water bottle. So that's just kind of your different storage options and media options for, for the console. Um, up here, there are Bluetooth speakers. So I have two options. It includes a cord. So you can plug your cord into your phone jack and plug it into the machine and you can play your music through the speakers if you would like to. Um, it also, has a USB port over here on the side. So once again, using a USB jack, you can charge your device. If you wanna charge your iPad right there while you're using it or charge your phone, um, it does have that option as well. Down here on the console. So as you can see, the programs are preset. So it comes with 10 programs and you basically have six preloaded programs. So there's manual, hill, fat burn, cardio, strength, and hit. And then you can set two different profiles. So if you have two different users, um, that weigh different um, weights or whatever, you can put those in. And then you can also set two different heart rate programs. So if you wanna set one that's like a fat burn program where your target heart rate is 60% of your total max, then you can do that. Or you can set one that's a little bit more aerobic, um, getting up into those higher workout zones, um, maybe 80% of your max with heart rate two. Um, so that's, that's a nice option as well. And it is Bluetooth compatible so it will sync with your Bluetooth chest strap. Um, and then down here, this is how you sync any device. You can see you can sync either your phone or your um, chest strap there. This toggles through your display, so you can choose different display options. And then you simply have start, start, enter, stop, and then your fan. So let me turn that fan on. It's up here, and it has a little bit of an adjustable window there. 
Um, it's not super powered. I wouldn't say that this fan is overly powered and it only has one setting. Um, it's also a little high. So for taller users, it would be great. For me, it's a little bit over my head. Um, so having a fan is nice, but this isn't, it isn't necessarily the best fan and it only has one setting on or off. So let's take a look at the overall functionality of the E35. So one thing that I mentioned, it does have a 14 inch step up height, and that is when the pedal closest to you is at the lowest point. Um, so you'll always wanna make sure that the pedal that you're stepping on is the one that's lower. And then do not hold on to the moving handles because they'll move when you, when you grab them and they'll, move, and they'll make the pedal move. So when you're getting on the knock machine, always grab the stationary handles and step on that lower pedal first to get up on, just for safety. So that is something to be aware of. It does require just a bit of mobility to get on the machine, but then once you're on it, it's very uh, fluid and smooth. Um, so it works really well for people that may have joint concerns or limitations um, looking for something low impact. So as long as you can get on it, then it's very easy to use once you're up here. So as you can see, I'm just kind of pedaling back and forth. You have the, the option of just doing lower body if you want to. So you can just do your feet and hold on to those stationary handles um, if you just want to focus on lower body or you always have the option of engaging that upper body as well. And then you can't really tell, but I can do more with my arms and just kind of let my feet glide along or I can do more with my feet and just kind of rest those ha my hands on the handles. So you can kind of do as much or as little as far as upper lower body as you want to. The other thing I was going to show you is you can see this pedal here on the right, I have inclined. So you have adjustable pedals and that means that you can pull this lever out, lift it up, or you can drop it down. And that just allows for um, more of an angle on your foot. One thing that I've frequently had a problem with on ellipticals is that my toes will go numb. And so Soul has had this designed. They claim that it was designed by um, physical therapists to make sure that your feet are very comfortable and there's no tension between your ankle, knee, or hip. So you're very comfortable while you're on it. Um, and then the other thing that I talked about earlier is this dual track system back here, which just makes it feel, feel very stable. So let me get up on it and I'm gonna show you how the incline works. So the incline, the motors back here and these, this dual track system here that supports the pedal will actually raise from back here. So that's where your incline is going to come from. So let me just demo that. So I'm just taking it up very slowly. There we're at incline level five. So you can see those kind of start to raise off the floor and as they do, it lifts me up as well. So I'm going to both pedal and incline at the same time. So let me take it all the way to the top. Okay. So it's gonna bring it all the way up to that top level incline 20. And you can see that it just takes a second for the motor to work as it inclines, but then there's no noise as you're pedaling. All right, let me demo the resistance. So the resistance is silent as well. As I increase that resistance on the pedals, it doesn't generate any more noise while pedaling. So right here, I'm inclined to level 20 and I have a resistance level of 10. So let's take it all the way to the top. Turn that resistance level up to 20. So that makes it noticeably harder. I have to work just a bit. The other thing I like is you also have, you can see up here, you have controls on the handlebars. So if I'm holding on and I wanna drop my resistance level down. 
I can do that without having to take my hands off the handles. Same with incline. So let's reset them both at the bottom. So there we go. We're back to our lowest level of incline and lowest level of resistance. So the other thing is you can, you can move the pedals both forward in a natural gait, or if I stop, I can move them backwards to just kind of change that the muscle systems and the, the order in which they fire. So I can pedal backwards or stop and pedal forwards. So as you can see, this is a very stable, sturdy uh, elliptical. I really am impressed with the construction. I love the all steel on those handlebars and uh, foot pedals. I like the fact that you can adjust the pedals up and down. Um, so this is really well suited for people who have a dedicated space, because it is large, who don't want subscription content, don't wanna worry about that. Maybe you just wanna use your iPad. Um, it has both incline and resistance, so it has variables that you can play with as far as different muscle groups that you're gonna challenge. Um, it's very smooth as you move back and forth, and it's very quiet. So it works well if you're concerned about noise. Um, if you live on an upper floor, or whatever. This is a good option for people who need something that's just a little quieter. I also really like the stationary handles that make it easy to get on and off and the synchronized motion between both the handles and the pedals. A few things to be aware of. It is large, so just know this isn't one of those treadmills that collapses down or ellipticals that collapses down. You can't fold it up and it's not easy to move. So that is something to be aware of and um, if you are the type of person who likes subscription content and really wants classes and stuff like that, it's not gonna show up on this LCD screen. You can get a tablet and use whatever workout program you want, but it's not gonna be integrated with the machine. So that's something to be aware of. Um, and there isn't, there isn't the touch screen. So you do just have the regular tactile buttons on both the handles and the console, but this isn't a touch screen. So just a few things to be aware of. In general, we're really impressed with this machine. It's very affordable, and it's a really good option for people who are looking for something low impact and quiet. So for a detailed written review, make sure and check us out at treadmillreviewguru.com. For current pricing, click the link below. And as always, if you liked our video, make sure and subscribe and give us a thumbs up.